Hello students, welcome back. Let's see what the next question is. The next question says an object is placed at a distance of 18 cm from the pole of a concave mirror of focal length 12 cm. Find the position of the image formed in this case. Now there is a concave mirror and the focal length of this concave mirror is 12 cm and there is an object which is placed at a distance of 18 cm from the pole of that mirror or in front of the mirror. So, we will have to find out what is the position of the image formed in this case. So, first let us draw the diagram. So, here is the concave mirror and this is the focal length of this mirror. So, the focal length is given as 12 centimeter. All right. So, if the focal length is 12 centimeter, then the radius of curvature will be 24 centimeter. All right. So, the center of curvature is at a distance of 24 centimeter from the pole of the concave mirror. Now, our object is situated at a distance of 18 centimeter from the pole. That means our object is lying in between C and F that is here. It is at a distance of 18 centimeter. So, now we have to find out where will the image be formed. Now, let us draw the ray diagram. So, one ray will go parallel to the principal axis. After a reflection, it will pass through the focus. Another ray will pass through the focus and after reflection, it will go parallel to the principal axis. So, here will be the position of the image. So, if A, B is our object, A dash, B dash will be our image. As you can see from the ray diagram, the image is formed beyond C. As you can see from the diagram, the image distance which we will get would be more than 24 centimeter because the image will be formed beyond the center of curvature and the image will be a real image. It will be inverted and it will be magnified. It will be a magnified image. Now, sometimes students ask me, is it necessary to draw the ray diagram always? I always would insist them to draw the ray diagram because looking at the ray diagram, you can predict what your answer should be. Like here, we have predicted that our image distance should be more than 24 centimeter and it is a real image, inverted image and it is a magnified image. So, our ray diagram helps us to know what will probably our answer be. Now, if we get a value of more than 24 centimeter for the image distance, that means our answer is probably correct. So, now let us solve this. Let us write down what all are given. Now, the object distance is given as 18 centimeter. Now, since the object is placed in front of the mirror to measure the object distance, we have to go towards the left from the pole. So, the value of u comes to be negative. Now, the focal length of a concave mirror is also always negative. So, I write here it is minus 12 centimeter. Now, we will solve for the image distance using the mirror formula that is 1 by f is 1 by v plus 1 by u. So, our 1 by v will be 1 by f minus 1 by u. Now, let us substitute these values. f is minus 12 and u is minus 18 cm which is minus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 18. So, the LCM let us write down as 12 into 18. It will be easier while solving it. So, 12, 12 gets cancelled. It is minus 18 plus 18, 18 gets cancelled. It is plus 12. So, our image distance 1 by v is minus 6 by 12 into 18 which is minus 1 by 36. So, this implies the image distance is minus 36 centimeter. So, the image formed is at a distance of 36 centimeter which is greater than 24 centimeter. So, our answer is correct and then we got a negative sign in the answer indicating that the image is formed in front of the mirror that is to measure the image distance we have to go towards the left from the pole. So, we get the value of V as negative then the image is a magnified one and it is a real and inverted image. So, our answer which we got is telling with the observations of the ray diagram which we did just a few minutes ago. So, always draw the ray diagrams to predict what will be the answer to your question. So, I hope you have understood this answer. Please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box.
I'm sure it will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.